Hi everyone, welcome to today's podcast. I'm Eldrima Harper, the host of the Organized Preneur Podcast and creator of the Declutter with Dream 5-Day Challenge, where I help female entrepreneurs to fulfill their dream of clarity, hope, peace, and sustainability in life and in business. Well, on today's episode, we're going to be talking a little bit about delegation. We're going to answer the question, how does delegation really benefit you? Well, if you have too much to do, if you think you have too much to do, or if your to-do lists are extremely long, overwhelming, and you just can't seem to find time to do some of those things, there are several ways you can make that to-do list shorter while getting everything done. And one of the best ways is to delegate. Now, you shouldn't delegate just because you simply don't want to do things. You should delegate when things are not getting done because you yourself are in overwhelm. When you are in overwhelm, the quality of the things that you have to get done begins to lack. First, what you want to do is you want to take a look at all of the things that you think you need to do. Are there any items that don't absolutely have to be done by you. And these are the tasks then that don't require your unique skills or ability. Don't consider any task too small to delegate because just a tiny bit of delegation can go a long way. It can go a long way in giving you some breathing room, some white space on your calendar and freeing up your time. Even if it's something as simple as filing papers or cleaning up your desk or if someone else can do these tasks, then it is something that you can delegate. It could be someone in your family. If you're in an office and you have subordinates that can help you or co-workers that can help you, there are lots of ways that you can delegate. So if you're a solopreneur, you can outsource. You can even outsource household tasks, enlist family members, right? You can have family members or if you have children, this can be a part of their chores, things like that. There are many ways that you can delegate just some simple tasks. If you're really busy and you like the idea of delegating, you can plan these tasks so that they're easier to delegate. For example, create a system for how you clean the house and teach it to your family members. You can make tutorials for work tasks to teach your virtual assistants how to do it the way you want it done. So, if you always think of think about opportunities to delegate, you will always find them. It's a great relief to get a task off of your to-do list and off of your plate. So hopefully this has helped you uh, for today. I hope you continue joining us in terms of getting things organized and getting things done. Have an amazing day.